Hello everybody and welcome back to Skullgirls. We're going back in story mode and today we are going to be playing as Peacock 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 Okay wait if I can actually get to her there we go as Peacock And just to preface this Like characters like Painwheel and Cerebella I've never really played before so that's why I said I was bad with them. Peacock, I have played a bit with. And I am not good. So, just to give everyone free some warning, this is going to be atrocious, probably. So you guys are free to publicly shame me, insult me, just crucify me. Because this will not be pretty. Anyways, let's go straight into Peacock story mode because I'm really curious about her. I mean, she's basically a 1940s cartoon. There's nothing more interesting than that. So let's go straight into her story. Wow, with an opening like that, how can you not just look at it and just... That was awesome. Uh, that was very, very awesome. Z is probably going to be the most comedic story we have here. And can I just say I was right about her being, uh, like, the same sort of type of thing Painwheel was, but, you know, more, uh, you know, weird? for lack of a better word. Also, I am already failing at this so badly. I am so bad with her. It's not even that I, like, don't know how to pull off moves, really. It's just that I suck at pulling them off with her. And I'm not sure why that is. So, yeah, this is probably going to be very, very bad. And again, I cannot help but apologize. At least we got beaten by Philia. I mean, Philia is awesome. Still like Fukua a bit more, but still. Okay. I said I wouldn't do this, but 
just in the name of I don't want this to go on forever, I'm going to look... This really doesn't tell me what any of her moves do, but it does let me know what to do somewhat. There's a lot of double punches in here. Everything's just like quarter circle everything though. Which I'm pretty sure I'm doing, but I'm not sure if I'm actually doing it. Actually, there are a lot of ones that are like, hit two punch buttons at the same time. We have a teleport move that I'm not sure how we're doing exactly, that could probably be used way better. Although, we seem to have Philia in a corner, which seems to actually be very good for us. I have seen Peacock called the, like, Goddess of Keep Away, which is something that seems like we should be able to use more, but again, I just blame my atrocious plan. We've almost beat Philia, though. Second try. That cannon move. That cannon move is good. Misfortune. This is... I think we'll be fine against Misfortune. I say yes, he gets the first hit on us. Ah, why do games like these always like to prove me wrong? But... Saying that anyways, I think Misfortune's gonna be alright. And just while I'm thinking about it... Wow, I'm, I'm very unfocused today. But while I'm thinking about it, Peacock's moves, they're all like... They're all based off of, like, cartoons, which is actually pretty awesome. Like, the old type of blah, blah, like, sort of like old school cartoons, like the, um, old Mickey Mouse sorts and stuff like that. Actually, it kind of looks like Mickey Mouse in a way. Like, the style, at least. And I just realized, she's called, like, the Avery unit, she has a bird named Avery. That's definitely a reference to Tex Avery, who is like one of the gods of cartoons. And she just smoked through her eyeball. Weird. Okay, this is gonna be. This is gonna be weird. I'm ow. I don't know why, but uh, Parasol's also very good at like a range type of game. But I think we're better at it. Yeah, we're definitely better at it than Parasol. Especially with those moves. Those like weird orb things. I probably should have talked about them more when we were doing Parasol's story. But they're really useless unless they directly hit you. And they disappear if she gets hit. So they're kind of like useless unless you can use them very fast or throw someone into getting hit by their like automatic explosion. And I'm honestly not sure if we're gonna see a lot of story with the um, peacock. I'm not sure what it would be, but I want to see more of it because it was funny. She's still smoking through her eyeball. At least that's what I think it is.
Okay, well, if that wasn't a complete mood whiplash, oh my god. Like, it started out just sort of, I don't know, cocky? And then she got all sad, and then... Wow, just wow to all of that. Also, this is not working. Ah, I really hate fighting double when she mirrors us because it always shows how much of a worse player I am. Which is kind of sad, but still. Okay, I thought I just dropped that on myself. I'm like, how did I even do that? She's so much better at doing everything than us. And that's just kind of sucky since we sort of have to do the same thing in order to beat her. Which, if I was actually a good peacock, this would probably be really entertaining and kind of cool, but I'm not. Let's see, can I just spam the shooting move over and over? It seems to work. Ah, uh, see, if only peacock was like Parasol and all her projectiles, like, they just faded away after they got thrown out. That would be so much more useful. Also, looking at the background, this is random, but what is this background? There's so many random characters. That guy has a diagonal mohawk. That does not look stylish, guy. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm talking about now. I just want to- Okay, wait. As long as we keep her in a corner like this, and keep doing stuff- This is really cheap, and if you do this in a fighting game, you are a horrible, horrible, horrible person. Never do something like that ever in a fighting game. And if you do, you'll just get beat by people better than you. However, for this, it it is a really good way just to, you know, cheese a little bit. I mean, I do want to win, and I can't seem to win regular. Oh god, we have to fight Marie. I don't know why that just occurred to me. That's going to suck. And wow, she's still almost beating us. Okay. That, that was, that was embarrassing. I'm not gonna lie, that was really embarrassing. I freaking love Peacock's Entourage. They are so freaking weird and awesome, and they're such... I don't know. They're just really cool. They... I guess they would have become DLC. That would have been really cool. Actually, I wonder if any of them were voted for. As we get beat, I might as well explain DLC of this game, because, you know, why not? We're probably gonna have to do this fight twice anyways. The DLC for this game, it was all sort of... It was mostly user pick. I think two people were voted for in fan pools after this game had to go on a Kickstarter. Which I will definitely explain once we get into all the DLC characters' stories. It's just, like, this game... This game had has a surprising amount of problems, and for what it came out to be, it's very impressive. But yeah, a lot of the DLC characters were people who were, um, were voted for, that's what it is. Like, they gave a list of contenders to become DLC characters, and it's just, yeah. I don't know where I was going with that, I completely lost my train of thought. Wow, this is great commentary, very great commentary. I do think that... I know Umbrella, Parasol's little sister from the last episode, or, yeah, no, like, three episodes ago, she was on the list, and she almost won. 
I just... Wow, I am being really noobish here, but I can... Can can I can I can I do something cool? Can I do something cool? Please let me do something cool. I am massing every button. I'm trying to do one thing, but what's up working? Uh oh well, we still won. Uh this is this is a train wreck. I cannot believe how many references were in that last exchange, but more importantly, we're starting- that was like- that was one of the biggest reveals for who the Medici's actually were. At- like, they're- um, bleh. They're like, the buyers of- they buy slaves from slave traders, or they fund slave traders. That's actually very interesting. Especially since we know Philia, who is still my favorite character, I think I mentioned that like every video, she's one of them. So, what did Philia do- wait, does that mean that Painwheel was actually like a slave that got hit by- huh, that actually- that could explain a lot if Philia was like a slave- not Philia, uh, if Painwheel was a slave who Philia sold? to lab zero that would be that would actually be really interesting ah, that damn shadow okay this is still that move takes too long to come out to use as the shadow before I could actually use it we actually did like way more way better than I thought we would Actually, huh, I'm just thinking of all these, like, I have so many theories that I want answers to, and I love games that do this. I love anything that do this. Duh. Wow, I cannot speak even more than usual. Oh, wait, we could destroy those skulls? Huh. That may actually be a way we can use. This may actually be our solution to beating Marie as Peacock. Especially because we are very- Oh crap, but her skull heart mode's not gonna- If we hit that, it doesn't hurt us? Oh my god, I'm learning so much. Thank you, Peacock. You are teaching me so much. We're still getting pretty hurt, but we're doing better than I would think. No, Shadow, don't hit me. This is really like- I know I'm not really doing much, especially not impressive, and I am probably offending so many people who like playing as Peacock, but I'm actually learning more about this boss fight and what we can possibly do. Um, okay, yeah, that's not gonna work. I don't- okay, yeah, come close and we can hurt you, maybe. Wow, she has, like, very little air attacks. This may actually turn out to work. Oh, thank god that worked. Okay, I'm actually very curious to the end of this.
Okay, that was actually kind of a cool ending. And this is going to sound weird, especially considering the upbeat music and everything, but that was, um, I think one of the more tragic things, because, like, so much sad stuff happened in Peacock's life, but she's sort of, like, too crazy at this point to realize it. But she still, like, takes revenge and everything? I don't know. I don't know, this entire episode has been a mess. I've gone on tangents, I've not really... I've, I've done this where I just can't speak. I, I don't know. Anyone who got through this episode deserves a medal. And you shall receive a medal, probably. I don't know. I'm not in charge of medals. Anyways, guys. Peacock is actually pretty awesome as a character. I suck at her. I suck using her. But I really do love her character. And all the references it makes. Like, Avery. I said it was a reference to Tex Avery. He's like... He's like a god in the animation world. Definitely look him up if you've never heard of him. Because if you do, you will see he's had a hand in creating some of the most iconic cartoon characters in existence. Which is a pretty high buildup, but he definitely deserves it. And I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I am sad we didn't see a Peacock vs. Painwheel fight, because they were sort of built to do the same thing. It's kind of sad. And I, I'm still really surprised that we probably gotten the most information for who the Medici's actually are out of Peacock. And, I don't know, everything's starting to like connect in a way. Anyways guys, that's it for now. And next time, we are going to do... I think we're going to do Valentine's Story. Because she's one of my favorite characters. She's definitely no Philia or Fukua, but she's up there. I really do like using her. I'm probably not the best with her either, but I'm probably not the best at this game in general. I do like her, though. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for now. And I shall see you guys later.